What's going on, guys? Sean here, Hammerhead Garage. What's happening, fellas? Anyway, I've uh, been reading up on um, um, float adjustment on Holly carburetors. And I read an article by, um, I don't know if you guys know who Daryl's Speed Shop is. There's a, it's a race shop, I believe, down in the States. Um, and anyway, they were talking about how you can adjust floats to fine-tune carburetors. Holly carburetors, especially, especially mechanical secondary carbs. So I figured I'd come out here and do a little video uh, and just show you how to do it. I just did it on this thing and it seems to have made a little difference. I haven't driven it yet, but um, it's running really good. The plugs say that everything's A-OK. -okay. Um, that's what I go by anyway, but it seems to be sometimes there's a slight hesitation just off idle. And I wouldn't call it a stumble. I'd call it like transitioning from the idle circuit to the low speed circuit, if that makes any sense. Just a slight hint of sluggishness, like you're touching the pedal and it's not doing anything. So I want to see if I could tune that out of it. Uh, so what I did is I found that the float level was a little bit high. Just a hair, like we're talking millimeters here guys, like small, small adjustments. So I lowered it just a hair and then I fattened it up uh, on the idle screws and I'm going to try that and just see what it does because I mean really guys when it comes right down to it uh, it's trial it's denial and error right <laughs> anyway <laughs> there's the holly uh, these this these this particular carburetor is mechanical secondary it's got the top uh, not the side hung floats but the top floats so what you do is if you got an electric pump this is easy just turn your electric pump on but don't start the engine and remove that sight plug See if I can zoom in here for you. You guys know this stuff anyway, I'm sure. A lot of you do. Just remove this plug right here. And uh, when you're rocking the vehicle, and by that I mean the pump is on and you can hear it whirring, and you just push down on the vehicle and you get it moving, rocking. Okay. Fuel should trickle out of this hole. It shouldn't gush out. It should trickle out. But what was happening to me is it was gushing out pretty hard. So all I did is I took... You loosen off this set screw, you get a 5 8 wrench on this, and once you loosen this top screw with the flat tip screwdriver, this is what you want to turn, is the 5 8 nut on the end. So the book, I think it said, or the article I said, said to turn it clockwise to richen and counterclockwise to lean it. So I can't remember right offhand which way I turned it, but I turned it a bunch until I got it to the point where when I rocked the vehicle, it didn't gush out of there, it just kind of just barely trickled out of the hole when I was rocking the vehicle pretty good. So I'm going to try that, see what happens. Again, it's denial and error, right? <laughs> so you're just fine tuning stuff, but I'm real happy with how it's running. It's all cool. It's all good, boys. It's all cool. So uh hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, kind of overcast here today in Nova Scotia. Kind of a dark old day. But... Uh, Whatever, eh? It's fall, for sure. I don't know if I've ever shown you the view off the back of my shop here, but it's not really much of a view, but just kind of show you. You look at the back, and there's the back of my shop. And but anyway, yeah. Just having a pretty good day, just kind of relaxing, just doing my thing, right, my usual Saturday routine. But anyway, just tuning the old hot rod, thought I'd throw my wrench in, and uh, if you guys got any experiences uh, adjusting Holly carburetors, uh, throw a comment in the description there, or in the uh, comment section, I'd love to read it. As you fellas know, I respond to them all, so anyway, thumbs up for Waramp, stay classy.